This is Mike Lingle from Rocket Proforma. Today we're going to quickly create financial projections for a SaaS startup. We're going to try to do the whole financial projection in five minutes, which is crazy, but let's try it. Here is the Rocket Proforma interface. It's question based. So we're just going to answer a few questions. We're going to come down here. We're going to turn on the subscription model uh, because that's what SaaS is. Then we're going to use this menu bar at the top to jump to the subscription section. And you can have up to three tiers of subscriptions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make tier one zero dollars. So we'll have a freemium tier essentially. So I'm just going to set the pricing for the tier one subscription to zero. Those are going to be our freemium customers. Then I'm going to turn on tier two and tier two is going to be a paid tier. So we're going to charge $29 a month for that. Uh, and if people want the annual, uh, it's 290. So we give them a two month discount if they choose the annual. Now we can come up here and do our settings for the subscription. So we're going to launch our free tier in month one. It'll take us a couple months to ramp up. Uh, let's say three months to ramp up to our paid subscription. Most of our customers, let's say 85% are going to choose the free, but we'll convert, um, we'll convert 15% of the customers, uh, to the paid. We're not going to have a trial because we have the freemium. We can set the balance between annual accounts versus monthly. I always like to start this low. So uh, because it pulls cash forward into the model, which is a little dangerous if we're raising money um, and we sell too few annual accounts. So let's go low. 10% of our customers are going to choose the annual account in year one. We'll get better at selling the annual accounts in year two and year three. Same thing with the user lifespan. So people will stick around an average of 24 months, which is two years. And then we make our product stickier. So by year three, the people we're signing up stick around for three years on average. That automatically generates the churn percentage. Uh, and then we have our pricing for tier one. We have our pricing for tier two. Tier three, we have turned off. So now we have our subscription model. We have our pricing set up. And now in the sales funnel section, <clears throat> we're going to drive sales. So we can use uh, top down sales, which is a magic sales generator. So I'm going to turn that on. And what this does is in the first month we start selling, which is our free users, uh, we're going to sign up a hundred free subscribers. And if we just set that uh, at zero, Uh, if we set the growth, we can then set a monthly growth rate. So if we set the monthly growth rate at zero, we get 12 months of 100 subscriptions a month. Um, and actually we can see that. So here, and I'm burning precious time in our five minutes, but I do want to show you this. Here when this loads, you will see uh, that 100 new subscribers are coming in every month. Right, so here's 100, right, all the way across for 12 months. So we're getting 100, 100, 100. That totals to 1,200. If I put in a growth rate, what that will start to do is the first month we had 100 subscribers, the second month we had 105, because that's 5% more than 100. And so then we go from 1,200 in the year to almost 1,600 in the year. And if we add a growth rate for each year, uh, we can actually grow. You'll actually see our number of subscribers grows and grows and grows. And you'll see this little three year chart update to match. Now I can play with this to my heart's content. I think because we're only charging $29 for subscriptions and 85% of our customers are free, we're gonna have to sell a lot more subscriptions. So I'm actually gonna start um, with a thousand subscriptions in month one and see what that does to the model. So now um, we do like a quarter million in sales for almost 16,000 subscribers in year one. Uh, we double that and then double that again. I think we'll probably get better at selling. So I'm gonna ramp these growth rates uh, in future years. And this is the kind of easy scenario building we can do in Rocket Proforma. And the last thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a customer acquisition cost here. So let's say that each of these customers costs us, I don't know, let's say it costs us 10 bucks to add a customer. And I'm just going to set that the same for all three years. So now we have a customer acquisition cost. People come in, a lot of them are free. 
some of them are paid. And the last piece, I'm gonna add a little bit of cost structure for cloud hosting. So for my free subscriptions for the cloud services, I'm gonna say those are 25 cents a month. And then for the paid, because they're using more data, I'm gonna say those cost me 50 cents a month in cloud services per customer. And that's it. So now if we go to our pitch deck slide, we can see what we've built here. So here is our subscription model. Here are the subscribers, the total number of subscribers. So we go from 1,000 in month one to 110,000 at the end of year three. Here's our annual recurring revenue, which is up to 5 million. All of these dollar signs are divided by 1,000. So that's uh, the way the model works, right? It's, it's this number of customers that drives the rest of the model. The revenue grows from 228,000 to 3.3 million over three years. Here's our cost structure, um, and most of that, a lot of that is the cloud services. And you can see we're kind of in the sweet spot for virtual SaaS businesses, um, sort of in the 70 to 80% um, gross margin range. Our operating expenses are, um, are, you know, in true startup fashion, we spend more money than we make. Uh, and that leaves us, we're actually continuing to lose money all three years, right? Um, we inherited some headcount. I didn't set this up as part of this demo, but you can see our headcount growing over time. And you can see we're bringing in, we haven't brought in any investment dollars, but we can figure that out. And in the financing tab here, you can actually see if we run this model, we're gonna burn through about 3 million bucks uh, and we're still losing money at the end of year three. So now we can go back and play with the assumptions a bit and maybe turn into something a little more profitable. Um, I suspect we have to raise our price a little bit, generate some more revenue, um, and actually that's pretty easy to do. So let's just go play with the sales funnels again and just see what happens uh, if we put in higher growth rates. So I'm ramping up the growth in sales per month. So now we build a $5 million business, uh, sorry, a $10 million business over three years. So now if we look at this, you can actually see that we start to make money in year three. So really volume is the key here. And if we don't have the volume, we lose money. But if we have the volume, we start to make money. So now, instead of spending $3 million over 36 months and still losing money, it takes us about two years and about a million and a half dollars before we break even right at the end of year two and month 23. So we would need to raise about uh, just under two million bucks in order to make this model run. So that's it. We just created a uh, SaaS financial projection quickly and easily. Um, now, if we want to get more detailed, we can go deeper into the cost structure. Uh, we could put together, again, we inherited a hiring plan. So we can go through and figure out who our um, key people are, which month they start, what their salaries are. Um, you know, there's a lot more detail here, but this is it. You just go in, you answer the questions, you can create a model quickly and easy and then start to scenario build just like I did with the revenue. So check it out, rocketproforma.com. Uh, you can build SaaS, you can build e-commerce, you can build Internet of Things, uh, you can build direct to consumer, you can build transactions, you can build a two-sided marketplace. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff that you can layer in here. So check it out. Again, this is Mike Lingle from Rocket Proforma. Thanks so much for watching the video. Check out Rocket Proforma. It's the easiest way to quickly and confidently create your startup financial projections. Check it out.